you can say that life is motion and motion is life. Imagine that the surgeon is enhanced in his sight or in his perception. So if you do a surgery and you see something more than in the other surgeon, this is how technology can help a surgeon to, at the end, provide better patient care. Paris University Hospital is a university hospital dedicated to the musculoskeletal patient. Musculoskeletal disorders reduce the quality of life by causing pain and dysfunction and uh, reduction in mobility. The mission as a university hospital is to be responsible for the evolution of the future of musculoskeletal medicine. Patient outcomes are largely dependent on surgeon's performance and surgeon's performance, on the other hand, is dependent on uh, his experience or her experience, but also uh, intellectual um, capabilities. And now comes in the artificial intelligence as the addition to the intellectual uh, capabilities of a surgeon. When we speak about augmented reality and artificial intelligence, these are enabling technology, which means that they disruptively change how work is done in specific sectors and also across sectors. Augmented reality means that the real world perception of humans is overlaid by useful computer generated information. In contrast, virtual reality replaces the human perception, for instance, the visual one, with a completely computer-generated picture. So it's not overlaid, it's replaced. In the beginning of our project, we evaluated different augmented reality devices, and we decided for this one, this is the Microsoft HoloLens. You see here a transparent display, so the user can see the real world, and the computer-generated information we started to use this pointing device together with the augmented reality headset. We printed it out with 3D printing. It has a QR code marker. Using the information between the cameras, you can triangulate the marker, which gives us the possibility to do three dimension and measurement. One of the biggest challenge was to transfer the development we made in the laboratory to the real OR scenario, where particularly the lightning conditions are completely different. End of December 2020, uh, we were able to first time actually apply this technology. And it was a very intense and interesting experience. During the surgery, mixed reality technology was used and basically the trajectory of the screws into the spine were projected on the patient. And obviously this helps the surgeon and guides his hands and his behavior. One of the most challenging steps here is pedicle screw placement. This is the view the surgeon sees. So he does not see this channel where the screw has to be implanted. It's crucial that it is accurate because the deviation could cause the screw to go into the spinal channel and then the patient is paralyzed. The results that were evaluated after surgery in regard to accuracy and so on were impressive. Of course, it needs now studies and further evaluation to evolve this uh, potential uh, benefit. The relation of the Balgris system with the University of Zurich and also ETH is important because evolution of medicine is only possible if researchers and clinicians connect in order to bring such innovations into patient care in an accelerated way. The Balgris University Hospital is an ideal partner for us, for the University of Zurich, because of its uh, cutting-edge science, technology, research. Technological innovation is extremely important for the students because these will be 
our future physicians, our doctors. Of course, they have to learn the skills because they want to use them. The nature of our collaboration is that we try to translate research from our institution to actually the placement within Biogrist and then also bring it close to the patients. Peer-reviewed papers provided by Biogris is only one expression of innovation. Bringing something into a reality operation room is much, much more important. You have to have the courage to go the long way to apply something the first time. And all the technological advancements we uh, see today will become very normal into the future. So the, the faster we implement this into our teaching, into our education, the more it will be applied. By now being at the forefront of uh, this research, we have already identified shortcomings and started to uh, define further projects in order to make such technologies user-friendlier and more applicable to broader clinical use. Currently, we only work with optical sensors, but a surgeon uses, in addition to his eyes, also his ears and his tactile uh, sensation in order to optimally operate. And we want to mimic this, so we uh, do research on non-visual sensors, for instance, on vibroacoustic sensors, which can identify if a drill breaks through the bone only by the sound. The program surgeon, which we put in place, has demonstrated not to replace any medical doctor, it is really to support them with a higher precision as it has been before. And that is the strength, and therefore I think it shows wonderfully what interdisciplinary science means today, and we want to pursue this way into the future.